We're gonna lay down on it. Head is gonna be on one end, tailbone is on the other. If that's not attainable to you guys, then just lay down on your mat with your legs bent. Okay, here we go. So if you have that foam roller, tailbone on one end, head, neck, and shoulders on the other shoulder blades, we're gonna tuck our tailbone under, really press either your tailbone into the foam roller or your back into the ground, drop your wrists. We're gonna inhale, reach up, exhale, bring it back to center. Goal post those arms, inhale, exhale. Nice work, guys. We're here for about 10 more seconds. Try to drop your elbows a little further. Really open up your shoulders. Let's do one more. And we're gonna lay on our left side for open books. If you have that foam roller, your right knee, right ankle are gonna press into the foam roller. If not, they're gonna be on the ground. Left leg is gonna be long in line with the rest of your body. Make sure your left shoulder is right underneath the right, relax your head, and we're gonna open up our arms, big open books. So it doesn't matter, guys, how far the arm goes, it matters how you keep your knee and ankle pressed into the roller or the ground. <sighs> big open books. <sighs> we're here for about 15 seconds, and then we'll switch sides. One more. Really warming up that spine. We're gonna go to the other side. So you're gonna lay on your right side, left knee, left ankle on the roller or on the ground. Big open books. Again, make sure that your alignment is correct. Keep that right leg in line with the rest of your body. Left ankle, left knee pressing against the foam roller or the ground. We're here for 30 seconds. Try to drive a little bit farther with the arm while pressing your knee a little bit more into that roller or ground. Let's do one more. Very nice, guys. Foam roller off to the side. If you have a little band, we're gonna incorporate it. If not, no worries. If you have that band, you're gonna place it around the arches of your feet. We're gonna bring our arms up to the ceiling. Okay, big stretch. I want you to reach up and then bring your shoulder blades back down. Big reach. Knee is in line with the hip. Knee is in line with the ankle. Okay, we're gonna go into some dead bugs. So we are gonna bring one knee into the chest while the other leg extends, and we're gonna alternate opposite arm to leg. Our focus is the stretch, and then really driving that uh, driving your hips down to the ground. Inhale, exhale. We're here for five more seconds. Nice, guys. If you have the band, you're now gonna place it above the knee. So it's gonna go above the knee, right at your quads. We're gonna flex our feet, knees are hip width apart, hands down by your side. Keep your shoulder blades down. We're gonna bring our knees to the right, look to the left, left palm flips up, back to center, and switch. Really warming up the T-spine here, guys. Strengthening and waking up the abs. Twelve seconds. 
shape, pressing those shoulders against the mat. Don't let them come up. Nice work, guys. We're gonna go into some glute bridges. Hands down by your side. Hips are gonna go up and down. Try to tap your heels with your fingertips. That's how you know that your feet are in the perfect position for bridges. With or without the band, knees are still hip width apart. The band is just offering us a little bit more resistance. So it'll fire up your hips a little bit faster. Hold it at the top. Pulse a little bit up, up, up. Keep those knees hip width apart. If you have a band, you want to use it. So really press those knees out. Now keeping your hips elevated and still, we're going to press our knees out. Out, really waking up those hips. Don't release your core, don't release your abs. Keep your abs really tight. Eight seconds. We're here for three. We're here for two. Nice, hold it up there. Flex your feet so now your toes are off the ground. We're gonna step out for four, three, two, one. Bring it in, two, three, four, continue. Four steps out, four steps in. Focuses on the hips, not dropping. 10 more seconds here. <sighs> nice, hold it up there. Gently bring it down, lay on your left side. We're gonna go into clams. So really press against that band, bring that knee in line with the hip. Make sure your left hip is right underneath the right. We're not rotating the upper body whatsoever. We're here for about 10 seconds and then we're gonna directly go to the other side, laying on our right side. Left leg is gonna be working. We're here for three, two, and switch, other side. Nice guys, how high can you bring that left knee? If you can get it in line, with your hip, that's superb. Keep those feet together. Again, this, is, this can be done with or without the band. We have about 10 more seconds. Almost there. Nice, guys. We're gonna go into a high plank. Arms are gonna be straight. Feet are hip width apart. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. And we're gonna step out side to side. Keep your hips still, belly and booty tight. Eight seconds. Nice guys, band off. We're gonna go into a half kneeling hip flexor stretch to get into our hip flexors and quads. If you need a pillow, go for it. Left knee is gonna be down, right leg's gonna be out in front. We're gonna drive our right hip back, left hip forward, really tuck it under here. Tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. If you would like a deeper stretch, right hand is gonna be on the hip, left arm is gonna reach. Keep your neck relaxed, keep driving that left hip forward. Breathe, guys. We're here for five. Four, three, two, switch. Right knee down, left leg in front. Drive your right hip forward now, left hip back. When you're ready, you're gonna reach over to the left with that right arm. Keep tucking that right toes into the ground. As you drive your right hip forward, we're here for five. Drive it four, three, two, Awesome guys, up to your feet. We're gonna go squat, stand up, hinge, stand up, back and forth, squat, drop those hips, hinge, shoot them to the back wall. Nice guys. Down and up. Beautiful, let's do one more. And jumping jack, let's just raise that heart rate a little. Wake it up. Nice, guys. Abs and glutes tight. Ten seconds. The 
Looking good. Three, two, awesome. Relax. Nice work, guys. We are gonna start with some Pilates abs. You're not gonna need any equipment for this. All right, so we're gonna lay on our backs and we're gonna start with Pilates 100s. Legs in a tabletop position. I'm gonna lay all the way down. And we're gonna tuck our chin to our chest, make sure our knees are in line with our hips, knees in line with our ankles. Pulse and breathe. Press that lower back against the ground. Extend your right leg out. Lower it only as far as you can without arching your back. Make sure your knee's not going close to your face. Keep it in line with your hip. Switch the leg. Left leg's gonna extend out. Really flex that quad. Flex your feet. There's no loosey-goosey muscles in my legs. Make sure there's no loosey-goosey muscles in yours. Extend both legs out, point your toes. Keep that back flat. We're here for three, two, hug your knees in and reach. Inhale and exhale. If you ever need to take a break, guys, you're more than welcome to roll your neck for a second and then bring it right back up. Keep your shoulders lifted. We're here for 10 more seconds. And then as we hug our knees in, we're gonna balance on our tailbone. Here we go. Reach and hug all the way up, chest tall. Nice, focus on your posture. Squeeze your lats when you come up. Inhale, exhale. Try to exhale right before the movement. Nice work. Give me two more. One more. Nice, guys. We're back down. Now our legs are straight. We're going to work those hamstrings. Pulse your right leg in twice. Exhale, switch. If you need more support with the neck, you can always add a couple pillows. But I want to make sure that your chin is tucked to your chest. Let's do one more on each side. Now place your hands behind your head and let your legs move on their own. Keep pressing that back against the ground. Keep your elbows wide. Make sure you're not pulling at your neck, guys. Keep it just to support your neck. Hands can either be behind your ears or behind your neck. Don't pull. One more on each side. We're gonna go into leg lifts. Heels together, toes apart. If you can stay here, great. If you start arching your back, lower your head and place your hands underneath your hips. Breathe, inhale on the way down, exhale as you lift. Let your breath help the movement. Keep that Pilates stance, heels together, toes apart. We're here for 30 more seconds. <sighs> 15 seconds, guys, you're doing amazing. <sighs> Give me two more. One more. Nice, bend your knees in. We're gonna crisscross bicycle kicks. Start off nice and slow, all right? I want you to twist a lot through the upper body, but keep your, back, your lower back pressed. So shoulder blades come up. Now, speed it up a little faster. Fully extend those legs. Lower your feet as low as they can go without arching your lower back. Five seconds at this pace and we'll slow it back down. Slow it back down, guys. <sighs> nice 
Nice work. Speed it up. As fast as you can, fully extend. Eight seconds, guys. We're here for five, four, three, two. Awesome. Hug your knees in. Legs are long. Feet are hip width apart. Flex your feet so your toes are facing the sky. I want you to float your arms up. Inhale. Exhale, sit up. Inhale. Belly button tight. Big reach. Stretch forward. So you're getting a really good stretch through those hamstrings. Sit up straight and tall. Curve the spine. Lower down. One vertebrae at a time. The slower the better. Bring it up. Focus on that breath. Nice work. Big stretch. Every time, reach those fingertips really long, really flex those feet. Let's do one more. Now, you can continue doing this if you want to make this a little bit more difficult and really work your spine, hands are gonna go down by your side. We're gonna bring our legs up and over. Flex your feet, feet are hip width apart, slowly roll down. When you get your feet down to the, almost to the ground, bring your feet together, bring it back up. Open, flex, and lower. Again. Really working that spine. Here we go. Nice and slow. 10 seconds. Let's do two more. Let's do one more. Nice. All the way down. Good, guys. Let's go on to our tummies. We're going to strengthen the lower back and upper back, and we're gonna go into some swimmers. So, extend your legs out, extend your arms out. We're gonna inhale, exhale, peel your hands and feet off the ground, and slowly lower down for Superman. Here you go. How high can you lift without bending those legs? Nice work, guys. 10 seconds. Let's do one more. Hold it at the top. We're going to go really slow, opposite hand to foot. Keep looking down. Now speed it up. Keep your neck relaxed. Swim and flutter. 10 more seconds, guys. We're here for three. We're here for two. Pop up and chew a low plank. And hold. Nice, guys. Keep your fingertips relaxed. Shoulders are over those elbows. Belly button scooped into the spine. Glutes are tight. Legs are strong and straight. Flex those quads. We're gonna rotate right and left. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you shoot your hips forward. Go all the way to the blade edges of your feet so your feet have to be a little wider than hip width. Nice, back to a low plank, hold. Gorgeous, guys, hip drops. Right, center, left, center. Go only as far as you can without lifting your elbows. Keep your glutes tight. Hold it. Now we're just gonna hold, guys. 
You have about 20 seconds. Hold that low plank. Don't move. Make it a strong first. Drive your elbows back towards your toes without lifting your elbows. You're here for 10 seconds. All the way. We're here for five, four, three, two. Awesome work, guys. We're halfway there, okay? If you have a band, bring it back on. If you don't have one, not to worry. You'll still get a lot of benefit from these next um, hip exercises. But if you have that band, it's going to go above the knee. I'm going to set the timer. We're going to lay on our left side. All right. We're going to be working the hips, keeping our abs engaged. Last 10 minutes, guys. We're almost there. Lay all the way down. We're going to bring our heels together, toes apart. This is our Pilates stance. We're going to go little leg lifts. Make sure your body is completely straight and aligned. <sighs> nice. See how my heels are together? Toes are apart. So we're going to work all the way around the hip. <sighs> Two more. Now we're holding that right leg up. Left leg is going to tap right back down. So now we're doing leg lifts with the bottom leg, with the left leg. Right leg is staying still, turning it out. The more you turn out, the more you're working the outer hips. Shh, shh, nice. 10 seconds here. Five seconds. Now hold both feet up. We're gonna go into little scissor kicks. Little scissor kicks, keep it tight. Draw it in. Shh. Nice work. 15 seconds, get it a little higher. I know it's burning. Eight seconds, we're gonna go to the other side. For five, four, three, two, flip around. We're gonna be on the right side now. Back to those Pilates stance. We're gonna go up and down with that left front leg. Up and down, heels together, toes are apart. Everything is tight. We're in long, one long line. Shh. Looking good, guys. Shh. Five seconds here. Now hold that left leg at the top. Now that bottom right leg is gonna tap up and down. Keeping this leg strong and straight and elevated. Shh, shh, shh. Nice work, you guys. With or without the band, this is still a major burner. Major hip burner. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go into those little flutters. Almost there, don't drop that leg. We're here for three, two, hold it up there and flutter. Feet are far from the ground. Point those legs. Nice work, almost there. <sighs> Breathe, guys. Get your feet a little bit higher for 15 seconds. Shh. Keep pointing and flexing those quads. We're almost there. Five, four, three. Keep that band there, high plank. From the high plank, guys, we're gonna go side to side. Shh. Keep those shoulders over those wrists, glutes tight. The more engaged you are, the less pain you will have. Nice guys, don't let those feet come together. Keep that tension. Now we're gonna go straight behind, focusing on the glutes. Nice work, guys. Almost there. 15 more seconds. Eight seconds, and we're going to stand up. One more on each side. Nice. Hop on up. We're going to go into some tube walking. So we're going to lead with the knee. We're going to turn our toes in slightly, hands on the hips. I want you to do five steps to the right, five steps to the left. 
Keep drawing in your belly. And switch. Now, we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna go into squats. Press your knees out, draw that belly button in. Drive with those hips. 15 seconds and we're gonna take off the band. Almost there. Three, two. Awesome work, guys. Last five minutes of class. Rip off that band. Lay on your left side. Lay all the way down. Bring your right foot in front of the left. Grab onto your ankle. Flex your left foot a lot. We're gonna go legless with that left leg, working the inner thigh. Shh, breathe. Now hold that leg at the top. Little pulses up. Shh. Nice, you guys. Now hold it at the highest point. Small circles going forward. Breathe. Shh. Nice. Reverse the circle. We're going back. See how high my foot is? Keep it as high as you can, guys. Nice. One more. Now we're going to pulse it back up. Gorgeous. Now just hold it up there. Flex that foot a lot. Straighten that leg. A little higher. A little higher. Awesome. Switch legs. Lay on your right side. Cross that left leg in front. We're going to go up and down with that left leg. I'm with the right leg. Glance down. Make sure that your legs line with the rest of your body. Now we're going to hold it at the top. Pulse it a little higher. Shh. Nice, guys. Breathe. Hold it at the top, small circles going back. We're halfway done with this leg. You guys are doing amazing. Stay with it. Reverse the circle, reverse the direction of the circle. Shh. Keep that leg high. Back to pulses. Almost there, guys. Shh. Get ready for a hold. All right, let's hold it up there. How high can you get it? Get a little higher. Get a little higher. Awesome, guys. Lay on your back. Last three minutes. We're almost there. Hands are going to rest underneath your hips. Legs are in our Pilates stance. We're going to go down and up with that leg lift. Breathe. Inhale on the way down. Exhale as you lift. This is our finale, guys, so go as hard as you can. Hold it at the bottom. We're going to go scissor kicks. Cross. Pretend your legs are scissors. They're long. They're straight. They're sharp. Here we go. 20 seconds. Nice, guys. Keep that back flat. If your back starts arching, raise your feet a little higher. Eight seconds. Almost there. Three, two, straighten those legs out, flex your feet. We're gonna sit up, we're gonna cross. Right back down, it's a little faster. Up, cross, cross, right back down. Keep those legs straight, keep them still. 10 seconds. All the way back down. Back to leg lifts. Back flat. Keep those heels together, toes apart. 75 seconds left of class. You can do this. Almost there. Hold it at the bottom. Little flutter kicks. You guys are doing amazing. This is our last minute. Almost there. Breathe. Now hold, guys. Glue those heels together, toes apart. 
Legs are long. Back is flat. Tuck it under. Get ready to finish with some pikes. If you can't do pikes, full sit-ups will be your release. Ready? Legs down, float your arms up. Pike it up. Almost there. Give me one more, hold it at the top. All right guys, last 15 seconds of class. Keep that chest tall, boat pose. Either gonna be here, arms are gonna be long, or legs are gonna be straight. Put it all together, five more seconds. Hold, three, two, Whew. we're done. Awesome work today, guys. Lay all the way down, bring our right leg up, left leg down, you guys did awesome. We're just gonna do a quick little stretch and call it a day. Bend both legs, cross your right ankle over the left knee. Bring your left knee into the chest, really opening up that right hip. Breathe. And we're going to shimmy our hips one inch to the right. Legs fall to the left. Look over to the right for a supine twist. Take deep breaths here, guys. And we're going to very slowly come out of it. Bring our right leg down. Bring our left leg up. Same thing on the other side. If you need to bend your bottom leg a little bit to get a deeper stretch, by all means, go for it. Bend both legs. Cross your left ankle over the right knee. Right knee into the chest. And we're going to bring our foot down. Shimmy your hips one inch to the left. Drop your legs to the right, look to the left. And bring both knees into your chest. We're gonna rock and roll up. Legs straight in front of you, reach for your toes. It's a nice little release in that lower back. If you can't reach your toes, if you have a band or a towel handy to help reach and press you into the stretch, be awesome. We're gonna go right into a butterfly stretch. Look down at those toes. Let's get into those inner thighs we worked so hard today. And legs apart, walk your fingertips down. All right, guys, we're gonna swing our legs to the back. We're gonna press very gently into a cobra, just releasing that lower back, release your glutes. This is a great stretch for all of us who sit a lot. Kind of putting that spine into an extension. We're gonna lower our head down to our right hand, bend our left leg, left hand is gonna grab onto your left foot. Bring your foot close to your glutes, release your, your um, thigh. Breathe into the stretch and switch. Release those feet. Your hands are gonna be right underneath your shoulders. Elbows are out. Flex your quads so much and really ground down through those toes. We're gonna to inhale, press up through a high plank into that downward dog. Drive your heels down, get a good stretch in your shoulders and we're gonna gently rock it out. Isolating one leg at a time. We're gonna tiptoe our toes in to meet our fingertips. Bend our legs slightly and very slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Awesome work today, guys. Have a beautiful day and I will see you guys soon.